Hello Lector TV followers! At first glance, this might look like an ordinary calculator, but it's much more than that. Today we're exploring the Elector Multi Calculator Kit, an Arduino-based device that integrates 22 different features into one tool. Let's start with the unboxing. Inside the package, you'll find all the components you need to build the Multi Calculator including the Arduino Pro Mini, various electronic parts, and the enclosure. Included are a USB-C cable, a waterproof temperature sensor, all the mechanical parts, and the push buttons that you need. The PCB is easy to assemble using two whole components. Included also are the LCD, the Pro Mini microcontroller module, and the programming adapter. The enclosure consists of 11 accurate panels and mounting materials for easy assembly. The construction and user manual of the Electromatic Calculator Kit is available for download on the Electro Store. It provides step-by-step -step instructions for assembly as well as explanations of each feature and mode of the calculator. Following the assembling guide, I started by making three solder bridges, as shown here. These are necessary for the I2C connection. Next, I soldered the resistors, followed by all the remaining components and the Pro Mini module. Finally, I mounted the display and soldered the wired USB-C connector. The module can be programmed using the Arduino IDE. The Arduino sketch and the related libraries are also available for download. And this is the message that I got after successfully uploading the program. So let's see how it works. By pressing mode, the mode of operation can be chosen. In this version, 22 modes of operation are available. By pressing the mode button longer, the mode function counts back. Now let's test some of these modes. The first mode is a floating point calculator. You'll need to enter the first number with or without a comma, then the operation to divide, multiply, subtract, or add, and then close up with equal, and the result would be displayed. The multi calculator can also perform decimal to hexadecimal and character conversion. All you need to do is to enter a decimal value, and then the hexadecimal value will be displayed. Other operation modes include hexadecimal to decimal and character conversion, decimal to binary and character conversion, and binary to decimal and hexadecimal conversion. Another cool function is the calculation of the reactance value of a capacitor. For that, you'll have to enter a frequency, and then equal, and then you'll enter the value of the capacitor in nanofarad, followed by equal, the reactance will be then displayed in ohms. Mode 9 calculates the reactance value of an inductor. To do that, enter a value of the frequency and then the value of the inductor and the reactance will be shown in ohms. Using mode 10, you can calculate the resistance of two resistors connected in parallel. Mode 11 is used for resistance calculation of two resistors connected in series. Let's check what mode 12 does. In this calculation, you can determine a resistor R2 connected in parallel to a non-resistor R1 by entering the desired parallel resistance, Rv, first followed by the value of the non-resistor R1. The resistance of R2 is then calculated. Mode 13 is for temperature measurement. This is a temperature measurement via the internal or external temperature sensor. And as you can see, it's 30 degrees. Mode 14 is a dual temperature measurement using two external temperature sensors. Mode 15 is for temperature measurement, light measurement using an LDR. I did this measurement in the daylight. A measurement is performed every second. Let's move to mode 16. It's a stopwatch with lap time function. You can run it using the plus button, pause it, or reset it. The stopwatch keeps working even after selecting other modes. 
Pod 17 is an item counter. You can use the number input to enter a basic number. For example, here I entered 50. Now the number can be increased or decreased using the plus or minus buttons. Using mode 18, you can display and trade any C code from a remote control. The function of mode 19 covers conversion of AWJ number, often mentioned on cable and wires, to millimeter diameter and millimeter square surface area. The AWJ number can be changed by pressing the plus and minus keys. The larger its value is, the thinner the wire. Another cool function is the dice. Rolling the dice can be done with plus. Now a rolling function is displayed. Then five values appears. The next value is always different and the last value is the one used. You can personalize the startup message in mode 21. With keys 8 and 2, the desired character can be chosen and with keys 4 and 6, the character in the row can be chosen. Finally, mode 22 corrects the temperature measurements in modes 13 and 14. The value of the correction can be changed by pressing plus or minus keys. And this is how my electromagnetic calculator looks like after assembling the enclosure. It's missing the colorful label, which you can download from the project elements. The electromagnetic calculator kit is available on the Electro Store. Find the link in the description where you can also download the software and the user manual. The Electromagnetic Calculator is a handy tool for use in your projects or for educational purposes. Visit the link now and get yours.